What's up, my YouTube brothers and sisters? Uh, this is Rockwell43. Um, doing an update on my 1.6 scale Low-C Audi R8 LMS Ultra GT3. Um, I did get the opportunity to run the car uh, with the stock uh, wheels and it claims out of the box 60 mile an hour. Um, definitely a true claim. I was able to get right around 60. Uh, kind of mad because I didn't get the footage. Um, I was out with, uh, I got to meet RC Car Rookie for the first time and he hung out with uh, me and VGAD. Also, uh, little RC Car Rookie was there as well. Um, but my footage of the speed runs was something, my camera was all fogged up. But anyway, um, the the stock wheels is is definitely not speed run material. So uh, Vgad um, ran across a RC Hornet had some of these adapters out for this car, and I tried them, but uh, <laughs> RC Hornet wasn't satisfied with what he had, so he actually told me to send them back and redesigned them um this uh design this new design here is great oh man it's awesome uh i'm gonna take you out of the tripod and get a closer look um he also designed some adapters these are for the arma creighton uh the talion and also the typhon um, and he's thinking that they will fit some other truggy and buggies out there. Uh, and like I said, that's, uh, RC Hornet, RC Hornet products.com. Um, but anyway, here's a close look at the adapter. Um, it was an easy install. It utilizes the stock pin that goes through the shaft as well. He did a really good job. Um, <clears throat> you see that pin right there. And then it has the two grub screws here and here to hold that pin in place. And then he has the screw with the spacer there to hold the wheel on. So it actually looks like that when it's all on there. And I'm hoping to get out Saturday, um, weather permit permitting and see if I can get some runs. Now, these tires are a little wider than the stock tires, so it does come out past the body a little. Um, hold on and see if I can get that to sit still. So I can show you a quick comparison of the two. But uh, if you see the G GRP, they're about the same size, but the GRP is a little wider. So it does come out a little bit past the body. Also, right here, on both sides I may have to trim just a little bit off of there to get that turning clearance but you know it's a step in the right direction for some speed um, I'm working on getting a spool and a motor mount made for this to accommodate some other things that I want to try so um once that happens I will bring that to you as well but um if you give me a minute, I'll install the, the wheel and put the body on so you can see what it looks like together. So uh, just give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, love the look. Uh, can't wait to test her. Um, but I think I will get a pretty decent result with the stock uh, system. Well, I hope anyway. Um, this is the 1.5 mod gears, so uh, kind of limited. That's why I'm trying to hopefully get the spool and the motor mount thing going. Um, but can't wait to run the car. So um, I will be giving you an update again. Hopefully, if I get a run in this weekend. But as soon as I get a run in, you guys will definitely get an update. And uh, 
like I said, uh, if you're interested in any kind of adapt fifth scale adapters for a um, He's got it for a few different cars, so all you have to do is just go check him out. That's uh, RC Hornet Products dot com, and uh, you might have something there to help you. If anybody has any questions about the install, like I said, it was really simple. Um, I will be glad to give you some assistance if you get them, and so will he. Um, he's an awesome guy. So, as always, um, till the next video, peace.